That silver willow tree was there when we bought the house on Grandpa Street. It was wide, she was tall behind our house down by the creek. She must have stood four stories high, hid the whole backyard from view. But Grandpa said, you better kill that tree or it'll be a curse to you. That tree's so big, when it falls, it'll crush your house and you. Got 400 miles of roots to choke your pipes and your septic too. It's magnet for bugs, limbs will whack your face whenever you mow. You ought to kill that silver willow tree and you ought to do it now. That silver willow in our backyard didn't weep or even moan. For squirrels, birds, bugs, bats, and bees, that willow tree was home. She's outlived all the foolish folks who tried to take her down. She'll outlive me and all the other old farts in this town. Sometime after Appomattox, that tree was just a sprout. When the James Gang robbed Northfield Bank, head higher just about. She sprouted on the farm along the creek beside the springs. She survived suburban light poles, wires, and fiber optic thing. From our son's room, that tree was all that you could see. He'd wake up to the sounds coming from that silver willow tree. He listened to her every night when he would hit the hay. That winter he was sick, he and his cat would watch all day. That silver willow every spring became a big pain in the ass. She dropped six on the ground so thick you could barely see the grass. Her roots had grown so dense you couldn't dig without a saw. She'd shade the whole backyard so dark that moss grew on the lawn. That great October storm surprised the county and the town. Green leaves were all still on the trees when the snow and the sleet came down. It took down limbs that took down wires, killed our power too. When our willow finally fell on that October afternoon. But she found a narrow space to fall between our house and the one next door. Took down some wires and fences, but she didn't do much more. She killed our power for nine days straight, but the weather wasn't cold. We got by with candles, firewood, and some family to hold. She was not a weeping willow, branches dragging on the ground. A silver willow stands up straight and it doesn't wave around. The lumber wasn't good for much and it didn't burn worth shit. But that tree took real good care of us and we never will forget. Cost a fortune for a crew to haul that tree out to the street. But we found a ton of honey and we harvested that treat. We bottled it in Gerber's jars for Christmas gifts that year. Our broken willow honey sweetened up that Christmas cheer. Then next spring that silver willow stump grew lots of sprouts real fast. 400 miles of roots were still alive and kicking ass. Our son would trim the smaller sprouts and let the strong ones grow. And that willow grew back near as tall as it had been before. The other day the electric company man looked at our tree. That tree's danger to our line, so it's got to go, you see. They think they're gonna kill her, but that's what Grandpa thought. 400 miles of roots will still be there when the electric truck pulls out. That silver willow in our backyard didn't weep or even moan. Squirrels, birds, bugs, bats, and bees, that willow tree is home. She outlived all the foolish folks who tried to take her down. She'll outlive me and all the other old farts in this town.